Well, I have to assume you've already bought one of these CAF units from us and uh, you're getting ready to hook it up on your truck. And there's just a few simple rules you have to follow on hooking it up and on uh, running the pump. And I'll try to go through those as quickly as possible because I know your time is valuable. So, this is the unit we mounted on top of the tank. We can mount it on top of the water tank because it's self-priming. A lot of pumps are not. So you can mount this on the top, you can mount it below, whatever you want. We also put a check valve. This pipe goes down to the intake at the bottom of the water tank any size water tank you want, and as it comes up, we have a check valve there. That's so when you shut down the nozzle, that the flow doesn't go back into the tank if you're doing a premix and you start foaming your tank up. So that'll stop from backflowing. The next thing is, it comes up, it goes through this gate valve here. That determines the amount of flow into the pump. So if you turn this down, it limits the flow to the point that if you shut the valve, there's a hole in there that allows just enough water in there to lubricate the pump. That's extremely important because if you run the pump dry, you will burn it up. It's uh, a lot of plastics inside, self-lubricated and lubricated by water. So never run the pump dry. If it gets down, shut it off. If uh, you shut this too long, it's going to restrict your flow. But again, we have a hole in there that allows some water in for lubrication. So open this valve up. That allows the water to flow in freely. Then the way we have it set up, this valve on the left is uh, we use a red tube most of the time, but not always. That goes down to your surfactant. And that's your ratio of surfactant. You mix it with this dial by opening it up turn it counterclockwise, closing down by turning it clockwise. That determines the percentage of surfactant you put into the water supply over here. This one's the air. This doesn't have a tube going to anything because it pulls it out of the atmosphere. As you open this up, it allows more air in. That's how you get your cap. It's soap, air, and water in a combination of all of those. You can mix this in any ratio you want. Once you get it the way you want, don't touch it again. Just leave it alone or mark the, uh, the colors. If you look through the slot here, there's different colors here that you could see telling how far out the valve is. You pull it out, like right there is yellow, and then it has a number there if you want to reference it. There's a locking clip here, you push in, that locks it in position, and you can't adjust it anymore. Actually, pull it out. You can't adjust it anymore. Uh, we have a pressure gauge here. We set these up at about 60 to 70 PSI, uh, and that's regulated by a valve over there. That when it gets to that pressure, it shuts out the pump automatically. Uh, one of the ways to raise pressure is just shut your nozzle down. That increases pressure until it gets 70 PSI and then it shuts out the pump. It turns out the electric so it, it doesn't draw any power at all unless there's a leak. Um, it's basically that simple. You put the water in the water tank. You uh, make sure you have water at a you know, full level before you shoot. When you get down near bottom, I'd shut off to be safe. It's totally controlled by the nozzle at the end of the line. We have a short line on this just for demonstration purposes. It's that simple. You want to turn it on, you flick the switch and it's ready to go. Open up the valve. And you have flow. And you have flow. Um, this one's chugging right now because the nozzle's too small. If it chugs, you don't have a big enough nozzle. It's taking too much pressure to pump it through. If we put a bigger nozzle or take this one off, we get more flow out of it because it's not restricted. And it's that simple. <laughs> well, Jim, it, it worked. We melted your nozzle. Burned my clothes off. Burned his clothes off before. How good did it work, sir? Well, it puts fire out, didn't it? That's all I care about. <laughs>